Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a cubic equation. We have the cube of z minus i equals 1 and we're going to be solving for z values. I'll be presenting at least two methods and let's see how this goes. First method, I have something cubed equals 1, right? So let's go ahead and use the binomial theorem to expand z minus 1 to the third power. This is probably not uh, very many people would prefer, but let's just use it. It's just one of the methods. So if you are cubing a minus b, uh, a lot of times I use a formula that I think is better. It's a cubed minus b cubed minus 3ab multiply by a minus b. But if you want, you can also use just the binomial theorem. That's also fine. So z cubed minus i cubed minus 3zi multiply by z minus i. You see how quick that is? We don't have to square anything. We're just going to distribute. And of course, that's going to give us the exact same thing at the end, but we don't do it right away. So this is equal to 1. Let's go ahead and expand it. z cubed minus i cubed minus 3 i z squared and i times i is i squared this is supposed to give us a plus 3z i squared which is minus 3z and that's equal to 1. Awesome. i cubed is equal to negative 1 I mean did I say that seriously i cubed is equal to negative i so it's going to be actually a plus i but when we subtract it's going to be 1 minus i. So we can kind of do it this way z cubed minus 3 i z squared minus 3 z and we're going to have a plus i here and then a minus 1 here. So we can kind of turn this into a full cubic. So how do you solve something like this, right? This is a cubic equation. It's cubic in z. And if we can solve it, at least find one solution. And by division, we can find the other solutions. So we can use something called the cubic formula. But the cubic formula, formula requires that z squared not exist. So to get rid of z squared, we're going to need to replace z with something. And that is usually given by z equals some other variable, let's just say w, plus the coefficient of z squared negated and divided by 3. So that's going to be i. So if you replace z with w plus i, this equation is supposed to simplify. Let's go and replace w plus i with z or the other way around. And let's, let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to replace z with w plus i everywhere, and that should still equal 0. Now, let's go ahead and expand this again, expanding it with the same type of formula. Get, gives us this, minus 3w, I should probably write it as 3iw, coefficients first, and then minus 3i squared, that's going to give me a positive 3, and then minus 3w minus 3i plus i minus 1. I don't need 0 at this point, right? So let's see if we can simplify this a little bit. Of course, we can distribute w cubed minus i plus 3i w squared minus 3w minus 3i w plus 3 minus 3w. And then we're supposed to, okay, I think we messed up somewhere. Yes, we forgot to square this. There you go. That's why it doesn't disappear because it's supposed to, uh, we we're supposed to get rid of w squared. So now we're going to go ahead and expand it one more time. W cubed plus I cubed plus 3WI times W plus I. And then minus 3I times W squared plus 2WI plus I squared. And then the rest is going to be negative 3W minus 3I plus I minus 1. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this now. W cubed minus I plus 3IW squared minus 3W minus 3iw squared minus, actually that's going to turn into a plus sign because we get an i squared, minus 6w, and that's going to be actually a negative 1 multiplied by negative 3i, that's going to give us a positive 3i, and I, I believe that's going to cancel out with the negative 3i plus i minus 1. These two cancel out, and of course, most importantly, these two cancel out, and now let's see what we have left w cubed and then we have a 6w minus 6w uh oh everything cancels out seems like 
And then I and I will also cancel out. Isn't that beautiful? And you're going to end up with W cubed minus 1 equals 0. Isn't that awesome? So W cubed is going to be 1. Well, here's the thing. If you just replace Z minus I with W, you will get the same thing. So we did all this work for nothing. Well, anyways, that's how the cubic formula works. But in this case, there is no need to use it. So let's go ahead and use something else. Back to basics. And we're going to call this second method, right? And we now have Z minus I cubed equals 1. Now think about it. Obviously, you could replace Z minus I with W all the time. That's perfectly fine. Now here's what we need to think about. And I will do it anyways. So we get W cubed equals 1. So to solve for W, we basically need to think about the cube roots of 1. And there are three cube roots of 1, remember? And obviously one of them is 1. So W equals 1 is going to be a valid solution. What about the other ones? So here's what you could do. You could go for the polar form. Let's go ahead and write 1 in polar form. And then I'll show you the alternative. So 2A and 2B. Or not 2B, of course. So... How do we put this in polar form? It's going to be e to the power 2 pi n i. n is an integer. And of course, there is no need to replace n with infinitely many values because we're looking for cube roots, and there is only three of them because otherwise they're going to repeat, right? So the first solution basically comes from just dividing everything by... Um, well, I would probably just do this first. Let's replace n with 0, right? That's going to give us 1 e to the power 0, and from here we can safely say that a w equals 1 is going to work. If n is equal to 1, this is going to give us w cubed equals e to the power 2 pi i, and if you divide both sides by 3, you're going to get w equals e to the power 2 pi i over 3. So we need to focus on 2 pi over 3. In a little bit, we'll do that. And then with n equals 2, you're going to get w cubed equals e to the power 4 pi i, Upon division by 3, you're going to get 4 pi i over 3. So here's what we need to think about. The w values, and if I call this w1, w2, and w3, the w2 is basically going to be cosine of 2 pi over 3 plus i sine 2 pi over 3. Now, if you think about 2 pi over 3, that's equivalent to 120 degrees. So it's going to appear here. If you look at the cosine and sine values, you're going to realize its cosine is going to be a negative one half, and this is going to be a root three over two. Because remember, in the second quadrant, sine is positive, so it's going to be i times one half, or you can write it as one half i. And w three is going to be four pi over three. If you think about it, that's going to be two hundred and forty. That's going to be in the fourth quadrant. They're going to be obviously symmetrical. And moreover, these cube roots are going to be. 120 degrees apart, right? That's how they're uh, separated equally on the complex plane or on the unit circle. And this is going to be with the same real part with a negative imaginary part. Make sense? So those are going to be the cube roots, and obviously those are going to be the solutions for W. But W is what? W is Z minus I. So Z minus I can be 1. Z minus I can be negative 1 half plus 1 half I. And Z minus I, because these are the uh, W uh, values, remember, right? And negative 1 half minus 1 half I. And for me, by adding 1 I to both sides, you're going to get Z equals 1 plus I. You're going to get Z equals negative one-half plus three-thirds of i, and z equals negative one-half plus one-half of i. So there's going to be three solutions to this equation by finding the cube roots from the polar form. Now, here's an alternative. Once you know that w cubed minus one equals zero has a, what is that called? Trivial solution w equals one, right? the, the real one. You can basically factor this, obviously, right? W squared plus W plus 1. And then you could just go for the solutions to the quadratic because obviously this is going to give you W equals 1. And the other solutions are going to be coming from here. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.